Hi guys, and welcome back to Jojo's Corners, La Esquina de Jojo. If you're new to my channel, hello, how are you? If you're not new to my channel, welcome back. Today, I am coming back with another hair video. Mm, mm, mm. So, if you want to know how I got these opal curls, keep on watching. <laughs> and we are back okay so first let me tell you this lighting does no justice to how the hair looks i have rose gold i have kind of like a purpley shade and then i have blue all throughout my curls um you guys know i'm a sucker for color so i had to try something a little different and no i did not use semi-permanent hair color i did not use permanent hair color all i used was the new curl smith hair makeup specifically these three the turquoise then you got the rose gold and then i mix a little bit of the ruby order size of the turquoise and then i got these beautiful like a purple shade but yeah that's all i used to get this opal hair i actually have to say that i'm obsessed with it um i like it how it turned out it took me like about 45 minutes applying the three colors because i was taking my time and you know using the comb um and this is the results now i'm gonna let you guys with the video i am going to insert a picture over here that way you guys can see better because this slide obviously does not justice to my hair and of course i'll be dropping my pictures over on my instagram but nothing let's stop the talking and let me leave you guys with a video and then we're gonna wrap it up to create the purple i added a little bit of the ruby with like double the amount of the turquoise and this gave me um it's like a light purple then i went ahead and section my hair like i normally would do to apply this styler but this time I sectioned my hair in three extra parts, one for the rose gold, one for the turquoise, and one for the purple. And I just did that all the way through my hair. So this is how the first section looks, the rose gold, the purple, and then the turquoise. I do have to say that the ruby and the rose gold have a much thicker consistency than the turquoise. As you can see here, one section is, I divide that into three sections, that way I can apply the three colors. I do try to alternate, and one thing that you don't see in this video is the fact that I'm making sure I kind of clean my hair in between colors because I do not want them to mix. So yeah, that's why the process was a little longer and I had to speed it up because every time I used a color, I went ahead and cleaned my hands, not perfectly, but I made sure they were clean. That way the purple that was a dark and the turquoise that was a little bit darker, they don't mix while I'm applying them. So this is how we're looking so far. I know the colors, you can't tell much, but once my hair is dry, I can actually see a difference. Now, one thing, remember that the more you apply, the more color you get. Now, if you don't like to be have a lot of crunch, you need to keep that in mind. Um, as you can see, my hair is pretty light, but not a level 10. So yeah, just keep that in mind.
once I scrunch out a little bit, this is how my curls are looking so far. You can see a little bit of the purple, you can see the blue, you can see the rose gold. I think in all this mixture, the one I was able to see the most, even in bad lighting, was the rose gold. But overall, I really enjoy all of the colors and I'm definitely going to, going to have to try the copper. One of the things that I love the most about this product is the fact that it's not transferable, not even when you're applying it and even though it is a gel, let alone once the hair is dry, it does not transfer to your clothes, it does not transfer to your pillowcase, it just, just does not transfer and I, I love it. I love the cast that it gives my curls and I love how it holds everything together. So this is how my hair looks when I complete my entire hair. Um, as you can see, I made some spots in the back and I kind of wish I had part of the section a little bit smaller. But once dry, this is how it looks. I think it looks amazing even though in the back I feel like I should do alternate a little more and maybe do a smaller section. But overall, I really, really enjoy how everything turned out. Um, and I just love playing with color like I said in my previous video I'm a sucker for colors and I love to be able to play with color without having to worry about my curls getting damaged so as you guys could see it is super simple it's just that um, you know you gotta kind of have in mind what you want to do with your hair um, now I did the, the turquoise before I had no issues with it it came out super super easy it didn't stain my blonde curls this hair makeup from curls mix are amazing amazing and the fact that you can mix and create new shades it is even better this is it for the video it's a very short video I just wanted to show you my hair like i said if you want to see any more pictures i'm always posting um over on my instagram i will leave the link in the description down below that way if you want to see more pictures or how it fades out or whatever the case might be um but like i said i am obsessed how this look turned out and i'm going to rock it for the rest of the week also don't forget these are not the only three shades they also have yellow gold and they also have copper so these are not the only three. These are the three that I own. Um, that was the one that got my attention, like I said in my previous video. If you haven't seen my previous video, when I did the turquoise, haze, I will link a card or somewhere on the top of the screen so you can go check it out. Um, and nothing, this is it. Don't forget, if you like the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And with this being said, it will be on to the next one.